What I want to delve in today um, is not specifically the event itself, but kind of how we use social media to promote the event, um, what other things we use that most people probably don't, um, and obviously how you as the listener, if you're a business owner and entrepreneur, how you're going to be able to use those certain features and functions, etc. You used social media to promote this event this weekend in the Helderberg. You know, I mean, small businesses, I can learn what you can do, it's certainly. You know, it's the same basic thing. So tell us, what did you do to promote this? So today's radio session is uh, obviously based, as you said, on, on quite a big event happening in the Helderberg this weekend. Um, and essentially today is going to go about what did we learn through promoting an event for celebrities, for artists, and how can you as a small business apply those special features, those tactics and the tricks that we did um, to enhance your own business and to enhance your own social media presence. So with that being said, what I want to delve in today um, is not specifically the event itself, but kind of how we use social media to promote the event, um, what other things we use that most people probably don't, um, and obviously how you as the listener, if you're a business owner and entrepreneur, how are you going to be able to use those certain features and functions, etc.? Um, so, without further ado, I'd like Lee just to maybe give us like thirty second background about himself, um, and obviously about this event. Kind of, you know, what does it stand for? What is the purpose of it? Because that is ultimately what drove the decision making um, and and the advertising and everything around this event. Hi, right, thank you, Richard. Yeah, uh, as you've heard, my name is Lee Berg. Uh, I'm a local musician. I've been staying in Gordon's Bay now for seven years. And I always had this dream of creating a platform for musos um, in the Alderberg region. Uh, I moved down to Cape Town because I thought there was a lot of platforms for all our musos. There's a lot of theaters. I specialize a bit more into classical music. I will also be performing this weekend with a full symphony, which is going to be amazing on a oh. huge stage. Um, very exciting about that. So that's sort of a dream come true, actually. Yeah, so that was the dream of this, this event which is uh, the second time we're hosting it. We actually had the, the big festival last year, the first one. Uh, and it started off as a small competitions in the Alberg region and it just grew into something insane. And uh, well, obviously, thanks to your help of the marketing team, it's, uh, <laughs> this year is going to be fantastic <laughs> so far. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really, really do appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity to, to have partnered with you. I think it went down phenomenally. So without further ado, what did we do? Yes, that's what we I used, want to do. <laughs> if you're listening in now, you may have seen quite a few ads over the last two and a half months or so. Exactly those ones you were annoyed about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the idea was to be in your face to let you know that there's something happening in the Helderberg this weekend. And uh, I think we absolutely demolished the expectations. Um, I think everybody in the Helderberg must have seen that quite a few times. And what was interesting about this campaign and, and this project as a whole is we didn't just use social media. We currently have guys out on the streets and we have paired what they're doing with social media by running competitions as, a, as an example. So if you have a business, yes, it's online, but try and see how you can get people offline back online because online where you can track them and you can show them content, you can entertain them, you can nurture them and you can ultimately sell to them, right? Mm. So using social media specifically for this event, a few features and functions that stand out that I think um, any business owner can use, collaborations. Collaborations is a massive one. So there are two features that you can use called either a paid partnership or a collaboration. And what it means is this is kind of more specifically for influencers, um, content creators, third parties that you use with your business. So in this case, you know, the artists. So we had Spookwolf as an example, do a collaboration post and some of the other artists do collaboration posts with the, the event. Um, and essentially it helps not only to have additional content, but now you've, now you've got a post that shows not only on their page, but on yours as well. So it's double the content. Um, and of course, we're keeping all that attention in one place. So how could you as a business owner do something similar? Well, think about the other businesses that you could potentially partner with. Um, if there's people that work in, within your business that you know have an active social media presence and they're creating content, maybe try and give one of your products to them and see how they can be creative with it. Um, outside of collaborations and, um, and of course paid partnerships, we also ran paid media ads and that is where we saw some of the most success in terms of awareness, in terms of growing the audience and getting the message out there. But ultimately, it came down to the overall strategy and this is what's important. This is what I always keep pushing on the show is planning. Plan ahead. 
make sure that you know what the what the details are what you want what messages you want to drip out beforehand so that you don't have to wake up in the you know that morning and go oh you know i need to quickly design something or get something done this stuff has been done for a month a month and a half yeah. already um so it just takes the pressure off it makes everything that much more efficient and it's a great example that you can use within your business be it a small business a medium business a large business if you can plan ahead especially when it comes down to your content it just takes up takes off so much pressure and while you're doing it you actually start becoming more creative you start looking at other options i.e collaborations paid ads etc etc uh, richard but it's important to uh, this it, it, I, as you know collaboration of a paid what name it collaborate or a paid partnership two different ones uh, as, you, as you did know do dan moet ek met die rechte mense ook is gewees. Want het help jy, jy collaborate nou met ou wat sit in Canada nie, hy gaan niks vir jou beteken nie, want hy het geen vriende wat in, in die Halleberg area blij nie. Absoluut, so, absoluut. So you need to look at, at that also before you start collaborating. As, as you should with any business decision is to be aware, you know, what is that impact of that partnership? What is the impact of, you know, um, uh, jy koppel jou, jou brand aan die persoon. Is dit die risiko? Is dit die rechte persoon wat met jou bezigheid pas? Jy weet, dit hulle jou, jou bezigheid sy beste intenties. Dit is, dit is een besluit wat jy self moet neem of moet kan neem, maar buiten dit om, om die persoon te identificeer en die functionaliteit van Facebook of Instagram te gebruik om juist meer belootstelling te kry, dit is wat my excited maak oor die toekomst van sociale media. Lee, is jy, kijk, hy praat baie. <laughs> uh, eh, maar maar is, jy, is jy happy met die, met die gebruik van die sociale media wat, wat uh, Richard gedoen het? Ongelooflik. So die eerste ding wat ek gesien het wat vir my baie cool is, ek kan actually akkurate stats trek. Mm. En dit is verskrikkelijk belangrijk. So ek het aan die begin een paar verskillende advertenties gemaakt, content create, wat die selfde ding sê. Net om my toetsloopie te kyk, wat sê een like die mense meer, vir een beginsel punt. En so kon ons toe nou develop, ok, hulle like meer, laai die beloop, daai die bewaaib, so toe groei hy in iets in, en eventually krij jy soveel meer reaches, met daai een wat die mense like, by voorbeeld nou. Dit en, um, natuurlijk die trekking bedoelende mense wat hou van die wens, mense wat hou van muziek, kan ek direct voor een advertentie gee. Wat baie moeilik is, ons het manne nou in die straat met banners en posters, dit is my baie moeilik om te weet hoeveel mense dit raak is. Precies, precies. Ek dink it's, it's very important to stay visual all the time, Absolutely. where you can be. Maar geld gewys en advertentie gewys, sal ek van een klein bezigheid myself af anraai, spanderend op social media, jy kan trek, jy kan verbeter en jy kan kliente daaruit kry. But Richard, you can use this information next year. Absolutely, which is what makes me the most excited about yes. this. So, yes, you can, you know, use things like tracking codes and tracking pixels. So, say, for example, if you go and look on Take A Lot and you open Facebook, that product's there in front of you. No, they're not chasing you or following you. It's essentially only because you've been on that page. So, don't stress. We've done the same thing with uh, with this event. Um, and the ticketing solution was Quicket. So, you buy your, Quicket, your tickets through Quicket. And we're able to track who, who lands on that page. And we can, you know, show them ads again because they landed on the page. But what makes me the most excited is the data that we've managed. Exactly. To oh, that's, and that's that cool. is in the form of a database, which any business should have. Name, telephone number, email address of someone you've done business with. And essentially what we've done is we've provided this information to Facebook, said that this is our ideal client, find us more people like this. And Facebook then goes away and brings back an audience that you can show your ads to who are most likely to be exactly like your existing audiences. Okay, our time is running out, but as quickly, always. yes, as <laughs> always. Why did you only use Instagram and Facebook? Good question. So the Halderberg essentially is a, a demographic that is not that active if we look at all the different other platforms. So bang for buck and in terms of adoption and being t- able to get the most people's reaction, Facebook and Instagram was our first choices. Target market. Target market. Uh-huh. All down to target market. This is research-based. It's research-based through knowing who's in the area. Um, obviously, we understand the industry. And when you can put those two metrics together or those two pieces of information, that's when you can start making creative decisions. Um, uh, Lee, my star of you, I know the great name is here. Thank you. Kurt and all the others. Richard, as people have more information, will you tell us what they're doing with the uh, social media as they're doing with the advertising? Uh, where can they get, get hold of you? Christy, the best place, your platform of choice, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Uh, look out for my link either in the bio um, or alternatively just search for Social Richard and you will definitely find me. Baie dankie vir Enloer, ons chat weer volgende week. Lee, baie dankie, dat was lekker geweest. Selfde, lekker om te ontmoet. If I can just uh, grab two, two little minutes here, and just, I don't normally talk about motivational type of things, but just a quick 30 second, and I got the finger up. Um, just to the business owner listening here, just keep doing what you're doing. Remember, I started on social media, and 
I'm picking up a couple of celebrities this weekend, you know. So I have gone from call it a nobody with no experience in what I'm doing, taught myself, and now I have the opportunity to be in front of the people that everybody goes to watch. Think about it. Keep doing what you're doing and believe in yourself. 